Really? I like some. Let's get this over with. Get out of my way. I just wanna go home. You got a lot of nerve. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and today I welcome you guys to yet another Fire Emblem character spotlights. This character actually hasn't either been requested that much, or is someone who I think a lot of people would be interested in seeing, but occasionally I will do some weird and bizarre spotlights, just because I feel like it. This character actually struck a chord with me back when I accidentally picked him up during my Revelations playthrough, and after doing some research into his character, I figured out I wanted to give him a spotlight. So today, I present to you the lazy butler, Dwyer. I gave up a nap to come visit you, and I'm glad I did. Dwyer is the son of Jacob, and a butler in training. He grew up in an estate within the deep realms, with caretakers looking after him. Jacob would occasionally come visit, but due to time passing faster in the Deep Realms, Dwyer would mostly be left alone with his guardians. He would spend most of his time training to be a butler, but would often sneak away to douse off as his favorite pastime was sleeping, something his father was very frustrated about. One time, when Jacob was visiting the Deep Realms to deliver Dwyer his favorite coffee beans, the invisible forces of Anankos were already attacking the estate. Jacob, Corin, and the rest of their companions arrived just in time to help Dwyer and his caretakers fend off the invaders. When Jacob and Dwyer were reunited, Jacob saw that his son was hiding behind his caretakers, choosing to heal them rather than participate in the battle himself, and thus chastised his son in the midst of the fighting due to his cowardice. Dwyer quickly snapped back at his father, however, explaining that healing his allies was as much a contribution to fighting as actual combat itself, something Jacob disagreed with. After the fight was over, Dwyer noticed that the caretakers who survived the battle had fled the estates. Jacob claimed that this was due to Dwyer's own incompetence, but just as he was chastising his son, once again, a lone deep problem assassin who had survived the fighting snuck up on him and attacked him from behind. Dwyer reacted instantly, blocking the attack and killing the invader with a single well-placed blow. Jacob was astounded that such a weak attack was able to do anything, and asked why Dwyer did not do anything during the battle itself, since he was clearly capable of fighting just as well as his caretakers, and Dwyer explained that he didn't want to take their jobs away from them. Since his estate was in ruins and his caretakers gone, Dwyer decided to join up with Jacob and the rest of Corin's army, and even declared that he would become a better butler than his father, a challenge Jacob was happy to take on. After the events of Fates, Dwyer continued to serve as an excellent butler, even surpassing his father, and while he was still known to sleep a lot on occasion, his amazing tea brewing techniques were so popular that they continued to be used for a very long time to come. Dwyer is a young boy somewhere in his teens. He has silvery hair, grey eyes, and a rather slim build. He is dressed in a dark grey butler's outfit with a cape covering his white shirt underneath. He is depicted holding a staff with a jewel, possibly a diamond, on top of it, and he is often depicted holding a tray of tea. He has a rather dour expression on his face and often looks tired and worn out. His birthday is on the 16th of November, and out of everyone in Corin's army, he has the most hidden talents. While this is not something I normally do, I have gotten so many requests from fans to point out this extremely airy comparison between Dwyer and L from Death Note. This is complete speculation, but many people in the Fire Emblem community feels like the Artists of Fate directly copied the design when they made Dwyer. The similarity is even more striking if you marry Jacob to Kagero, thus giving Dwyer black hair. It's not really relevant to the spotlight at all, but I felt like it was so hilarious I wanted to point it out anyway. Dwyer's personality appears rather simple at first glance. On the outside, he comes off as lazy, unmotivated, and apathetic. But taking a closer look at him reveals much, much more. While he does enjoy sleeping and relaxing, he is an excellent butler when left to do his chores in peace. When ordered around or yelled at, however, he tends to perform much worse. And sadly, his father Jacob tends to bring out the worst in him due to him constantly trying to discipline his son in an attempt to make him a better butler, which causes the two to have a rather conflicted relationship. 
Unlike his father, Dwyer displays a lot of kindness. While Jacob is undoubtedly a good butler, he is also rude and often talks down to others. Dwyer, on the other hand, seems to care more about being a compassionate butler that takes people's feelings into account, and takes great joy in serving them. He also acts more in his instincts and feelings, rather than in cold logic. Now, while Dwyer's demeanor makes him initially come across as a bit weak, he has a wide variety of hidden talents. He has a great talent for brewing coffee, and he's also a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat due to the intense training he received from Jacob as a child. Even though he did not train at all during his teenage years, he's still capable of defeating enemies with his bare hands, although he doesn't consider this a talent that is very important to him. He is also shown to have great instincts, and quickly masters whatever he sets his mind to, as long as it is his own choice to do so. Dwyer's relationship with Jacob is an interesting one. While Dwyer treats most people in Corin's army with a lot of respect and decency, he is outright rude and arrogant towards his father, probably repaying Jacob for his many years of harsh lectures. In fact, Dwyer is one of the few people who can actually get under Jacob's skin a bit, which is quite interesting to see, as he ends up beating him in many aspects of a butler's chores, particularly brewing coffee, which Jacob simply admits Dwyer is just plain better at. They have an extremely competitive relationship together, often arguing over who can perform their duties the best. While Jacob and Dwyer sometimes appear different as night and day, it is also remarkable how similar they are in certain aspects, and this really shines true in their support conversations. And in the end, it's also quite apparent that they both really care about each other, even if they aren't great at showing it. Dwyer also doesn't deal very well with nonsense, a trait he inherited from his father, and especially doesn't like rich nobles ordering other people around, and he will speak out against such behavior whenever he sees it. He also acts very much like a gentleman to girls, showing a lot of courtesy and manners. On the other hand, he does not enjoy being called kind or receive a lot of compliments, as it makes him feel very uncomfortable. Dwyer, in a nutshell, is a person that embodies the quote, don't judge a book by its cover. While he may come across as lazy, weird, and weak-minded, he has strong values and many hidden talents, a lot of kindness in him, as well as a great work ethic, with his favorite motto actually being, work before rest. He just really enjoys the rest part. Bother Dwyer too much, and he is going to give you some attitude and shy away from his chores, but leave him to his own business, and he is going to serve you very well. Ah, oh, now I'm blushing. Dwyer is obtainable in Paralogue 4. Once Jacob has unlocked an S-rank support with any female member of Corin's army, or with female Corin herself. Just like with all child units, the stats you see displayed here are Dwyer's base stats and growth rates, and are not what you will see when you encounter Dwyer in the game itself. Instead, Dwyer will receive a mix of his own stats combined with that of Jacob and his mother. Being Jacob's son, Dwyer inherits his great strength, but also his lack of magic, which is a bit strange considering his starting class is a troubadour, a class that focuses on magic and healing. However, his great strength will make him an amazing offensive-oriented butler, and he will be able to deal fantastic damage with hidden weapons. He is a little bit on the frail side with low defense and resistance though, so he's not an ideal frontline tank. Dwyer is quite a unique child in that you can get him really fast. While most of the other kids usually don't come into play until the mid to late game, Dwyer can be obtained just after a few chapters if you really want him to. But to do it quickly, it requires you to pick a female avatar. Since Jacob is available from the very start of all three routes, you can pair him up with Corin to unlock their S-rank supports within a few chapters. If you have what it takes to beat Dwyer's paralogue early on, this allows you to get a very solid mounted staff user in the early game, and also allows you to conveniently get Kana really quickly as well. The child units are on average a little stronger compared to their parents, so doing this will greatly benefit your playthrough. Dwyer's personal skill, Born Steward, can either be the best or worst personal skill in the game, depending on what you are using Dwyer for. If you're building a team for street pass battles or invasions, this skill will make Dwyer one of the most valuable units on your team, giving him 20% hit and avoid, as well as plus 2 damage dealt and minus 2 damage taken, one of the biggest boosts of any personal skills in the game. 
However, in the main story, this skill will hardly see any use, except for in the optional invasion battles, of course. Some people may confuse the skill, thinking it gives Dwyer's bonuses on indoor castle maps, but this is not the case. It will only work when doing battles in the Avatar's main base, whether it be your own or that of another player. Dwyer can either promote to a strategist or butler. Strategist will improve his mobility and give him access to tomes, but due to his low base magic, this usually isn't recommended unless you have paired Jacob up with a mother that helps Dwyer out in this area. Butler is a much better option for him, as his high strength will allow him to inflict great damage while still allowing him to serve with a staff utility. While female Corrin is generally considered the best pairing for Dwyer, it is statistically also one of the strongest pairings for most child units, so you may have someone else in mind. Overall, Dwyer kinda struggles with average stats, so marrying Jacob off to a royal blood will definitely alleviate this weakness somewhat, as royals tend to have higher growth rates on average. Marrying Jacob to Hinoka in Birthright or Revelations can make Dwyer into a pretty decent Falcon Knight, retaining his staff access and allowing him to self-heal via live to serve on the front lines, while also serving as a great flyer with amazing strength that can hit very hard. The same goes for Camilla, who can make Dwyer become a pretty decent hard-hitting Vibran Lord. If you really want Dwyer to become a strategist, you could also consider Elise as his mother, as that will patch up his average magic stat, though this pairing will also make him frail as tinfoil paper. A mention should also go out to Kagura, who will pass down the ninja class to Dwyer. Due to his great strength, Dwyer can make great use of hidden weapons, and you can go with something really amazing like a shuriken fair butler combo, which will make Dwyer a damage-dealing monster, though it should be noted that Dwyer can obtain this via friendship seals as well. At the end of the day, you can build Dwyer any way you like, but he really shines the most when walking in his father's shoes, and this is most likely intended with his design. He may be a bit frail, but keep him well protected, and his butler skills are sure to serve you quite well. Let's just take our time and relax. My chores can wait. Thank you for watching this Fire Emblem character spotlight. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel a lot. I would also like to thank my other Patreon supporters as well. Anyone of bronze tier or higher will automatically be listed at the end of my spotlights and certain other videos. I am very grateful for your continued support, thank you so much. The beautiful art and design you see created in this video was made by my designer, Mina Tangerina, and my script editors, Nasiro and Sonagi, helped me fine-tune the script for the spotlight. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Finn Manx, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye!